Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Flying Dog Brewery and it's a bottle of their K9 Winter Ale coming in at 7.4% ABV. I'm a big fan of Flying Dog. I think they produce very good beers. Uh, here's a look at the bottle cap. Let the camera focus on that one. There we go. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsor, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK uh, with some fantastic beers from all around the world. Oh, this is a perfect colour beer for what I want to do with this beer after the review. After this review, I'm going live on another YouTube channel in... 25 minutes time I'm joining Tomek Kuypera um, the famous Polish beer blogger where he's got 55,000 subscribers and we're going live for my beer launch Call Me Simon 2015 uh, we produced um, an imperial bitter with Brewer Pinter this time I couldn't go back to Poland I, I had work commitments I couldn't go back to launch it so we're going to launch it live on the internet and I think it's going to go very well I do believe it's going to, it probably will launch to more people, I think, than the first beer did last year. So, enough of that. We're obviously looking at K9 from Flying Dog. Beer in a glass. Nice ruby coloured ale. Nice levels of carbonation. Nice kind of chestnut ruby coloured beer. You can check out this beer at beer, beersofeurope.co.uk. Pardon me. The largest online beer store in the UK with, with lots and lots of beers from all around the world. America, the UK, uh, Japanese craft beer. They've got beer from Belgium, Germany, Italy. Great, great kind of pub. Pub? Great beer shop. Let's get my words right. Great beer shop where you can get most things that you need, your drinking needs. That was probably the worst pitch I have ever pitched for beers of Europe. Let, let's just move on. Let's move on to the beer. Right, clear glass of beer. Let's get the aroma. A nice kind of hazy... Mellow... Berry, bit of jam in the aroma. Yeah, it's very mellow. It's very for a seven point four percent ABV beer. I think I could get the aroma off the, off this beer lying down. Let's dive into the taste. Cheers. Mm. A little kick of alcohol, which is quite surprising. Actually, quite a big kick of alcohol. Um, it might be something else. It might be something mixed in with a bit of licorice or a bit of spice. But it certainly kind of kicks alcohol to me. And that's quite surprising for a brewery of flying dogs quality. Very carbonated, medium mouthfeel, a little bit nutty, a little bit berryish, a little bit jamish, like a like a jam, sticky jam, a raspberry jam, I'd say. But it's very drinkable. I think the beer is a little bit too thin for what it's trying to be. For me, at 7.4% ABV and saying winter ale, I want something big, thick and rich and warming. This beer, unfortunately, is a little bit thin. It's lacking flavour and there's a, there's a little kick of alcohol on the back end. I mean, in the winter, if you want that little bit of kick in alcohol to warm you up, that's fine. But I prefer the flavours to do it. Your raisins, your berries. This could be so much better. This really could be so much better. 
than what they're kind of suggesting. And Flying Dog for me, they produce some great beers and they produce some average beers. Never really got on with their Snake Dog. I love their doggy style and I love their Raging Bitch. It's one of those. And of course, probably my favourite beer from Flying Dog is their Pumpkin Ale. Uh, the Fear Pumpkin. An absolutely stonking beer. And I was expecting this beer to be kind of the same. But unfortunately, it just falls down a little bit. There's just not enough mouthfeel, consistency, body to this beer to kind of... It's difficult because you call it a winter ale and, and it... I suppose, I suppose anything could be a winter ale, couldn't it? It could be thick, thin, medium mouthfeel, it could be, it could be spicy. There's a whole range of flavours and mouthfeels that it could be. But in my mind, a winter ale should be big, thick and bold and juicy and fat and full of flavour. So, rating for K9 Winter Ale by Flying Dog Brewery. I just think it lets down, it lets itself down a little bit. I really do, I just think it, um, it's not what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 for me, Low Craft Beer. Uh, check out beersreview.co.uk, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.